Hey guys, Marco here. Hopefully you're all doing well. Because I just recently started writing and kind of planning my new short film project. I thought today I can kind of look at how I tackle writing and starting new projects and kind of my five main tips that I follow every time. But firstly, let me just put a giant disclaimer here. I am not a professionally trained screenwriter. I've just learned a lot through videos, through books, and just through my own self-practice of making many, many short films and videos. So with that out of the way, let's get started with tip number one. No matter what project or story I'm going for, it usually always starts with rough notes. These can be anything from bullet points kind of outlining scenes, to certain quotes that you think characters would say, to certain ideas or scenes that you just haven't gotten to in the script yet, or even just quotes that kind of relate to the theme of the story you're trying to tell. Something that kind of gives you that inspiration so you can write from there. So as you actually start writing, you can look back at these rough notes for the ideas, the inspiration, or to flesh out those ideas further in the actual script. Tip number two is don't be afraid to fill the empty page. Trust me, there is nothing more daunting than the empty page or screen, whatever, you get the idea. So something that I like to do that gets me away from that writer's block mentality is to just kind of word vomit all over your page. Just start writing, a lot of it will suck, a lot of it just won't make sense, but at least you have something to go from. Because there's no chance you're gonna be writing the perfect script the first time. So make the mistakes now, get all your ideas and thoughts onto the page, and then you can slowly refine them. Tip number three is always listen to music when you write. I do this for a lot of reasons, mainly because I find myself a lot more productive when I'm listening to music when I work. But another hidden bonus of listening to music as you write is that a lot of the time it can transport you to the story that you want to tell. You're no longer just sitting at your computer writing. You're now in the world with the characters, with the dialogue that you're trying to create. So pick songs, pick albums, playlists that really reflect the theme and the ideas that you're going for in the story. The short that I'm currently writing right now, I've been listening to a lot of Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. These guys are just brilliant at what they do. They've scored so many movies from Soul, The Soul, Social Network mid 90s. And if I'm being honest, the Social Network soundtrack is probably the one I've listened to the most while writing. <laughs> Tip number four is a writing technique that a lot of people call the reverse pyramid. And John Truby's The Anatomy of a Scene, he says, the beginning of the scene should frame what the whole scene is about. The scene should then funnel down to a single point with the most important word or phrase coming at the end. This I often find is a really helpful tool when condensing your work afterwards. You can really look at everything you've written, ask yourself, is it really helping the scene? Is it getting to the point? If it's not, cut it. Just like that idea of the reverse pyramid, start with a good question, funnel it down to the answer, and then rinse and repeat. And finally, tip number five is play slash read the scene out loud. When something's typed out on a screen or played in video form, they often can play out and read differently. So to really refine your pacing and your timing of the scene to see if everything matches up and to see if you need to cut or add anything, play the scenes out loud. Read the dialogue like your characters would. Imagine the shots as you're going through. When you do this, you're not only making the timing and the pacing better, but you're kind of editing the movie in your head, which can save you a lot of time later on. So those are the tips that I use whenever I tackle any new project. And so far, it's worked pretty good for me. <laughs> Here's hoping that they help you guys as well. But that's it for me for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on all my socials. They'll be linked in the description. And until next time, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now.